a very cheerful good morning to all the students present over there today we are going to discuss about the edible parts of the plant green plants are the primary sources of food various parts of plants such as roots stems leaves flowers fruits and seeds are used as food by us the parts of a plant which can be eaten these are called edible parts of the plant while the other parts which cannot be eaten by us are called non edible parts of the plant for example in a tomato plant only the fruit part is edible now we are going to discuss about the stems which are edible here sugar cane bamboo shoots spring onions are the stems which we eat modified underground stems of some plants are also used as a source of food for example onion potato ginger garlic turmeric etc we get sugar and jaggery from the stem of sugar cane the stem of banana plant is also used to make many tasty dishes in southern india now the flowers which are edible flowers of certain plants are also used as a source of food for example cauliflower rose broccoli we also eat the vegetable cur curry of cauliflower and broccoli at our homes now the fruits we eat the mangoes oranges grapes and apples fruits of many plants are used as food many fruits are eaten raw fruits of some plants are also used as vegetables like brinjal tomato pumpkin etc in some plants fruits are dried and then they are eaten by us now the roots which are edible in plants like carrot radish beetroot sweet potato roots are swollen up due to storage of food these modified roots are used as a source of food by us now the seeds which are edible pumpkin seeds sunflower seeds chia seeds sesame seeds and flax seeds can be eaten by us seeds are a rich source of food for human beings and also for the animals most of the cereals like wheat rice pulses maize millets etc are the seeds now plants whose more than one part is edible firstly banana plant in banana plant fruits stem and flowers are consumed as food in mustard plant both seeds and flowers are edible in pumpkin plant fruits and flowers can be eaten in coriander leaves seeds and stem can be eaten by us now from where does we get the honey then firstly honey bees collect the sweet juices from the flowers these sweet juices are called nectar then they convert the nectar into the honey and store it in their hives then we extract the honey from their hives now the question arises 
virus bees store nectar in their hives flowers are not available all the year they are available only in some seasons so bees collect the nectar during the flowering seasons to survive during cold months and also to feed the young ones now we are going to discuss about the sprouts so the germinating seeds are called sprouts when a white structure comes out of the seeds then they are said to be sprouted now how can we prepare the sprouts firstly we have to take some dry seeds of moong or gram then we have to keep these seeds in a container filled with water and then we have to leave this aside for a day then we have to drain the water completely and then we have to wrap the seeds with wet cloth and set aside next day if the white structure has grown out of them then we can say that they are sprouted if not then you will have to keep these seeds for another day and then we can get the sprouts well these sprouts are very healthy and they are highly rich in proteins thank you